Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. Glad you tuned in today. And just simple little thought today I want to talk about. I think if we all were to look at the Bible, something we could all agree on is that God does speak to man. And I'm not speaking of this in a charismatic way. I'm not talking about a voice coming down from heaven and we're hearing God describe each and every little detail in our lives. But I think we could all say that God does indeed speak to us through many different ways. I think if you look throughout history and the Bible, we see God speak to us, of course, through his word, through the preaching of his word. He speaks to us through disasters, things that go on in the world. He speaks to us through nature, his creation. There are many different ways that God speaks to us. But to go back to the before mentioned thing, I think the way that God speaks to us the most is probably through his word and through the preaching of his word. And, you know, when you really begin to think about, is there a lot of false teaching and false preachers going around today? Yes, we have our fair share of it. But, you know, in reality, I think we have more truth today as far as his word and the preaching of his word is concerned than we ever had before. I mean, Maybe you have to look for it, but at the end of the day, you can find there's a lot of truth. There's many, we have much more scripture today than we've ever had before. We have much more preaching, solid biblical preaching, I think, today than we've ever had before. And at the end of the day, we just have no excuse, logically, why we shouldn't be the greatest generation of Christians. And yet, we look around and come to find we have some of the most spiritually dead and spiritually lacking generation to ever walk around on the earth. And we have to ask ourselves, why is this? It's not because we're lacking truth. It's not because God isn't speaking to us. So perhaps the reason is we're just not listening. I remember reading behind one man and he gave a thought and I thought it was pretty true. He said, you know, if you were to take any of the great saints of all, whether in the Bible or outside the Bible, from Abraham to Paul, from Elijah to Peter, outside the Bible, from Spurgeon to C.T. Studd, from D.L. Moody to Billy Bray, you have all these saints and different, oh boy, were they different in everything, uh, different likes and dislikes, different in their beliefs in some areas, different ethnicities, different countries they lived in, and all these different types of things. But one thing they all had in common was that when they heard the voice of God, when God spoke to them, they listened to it and they obeyed. As I said, we have more truth going around today than seemingly ever before. But I think our problem is we're just not listening to it. So my simple question to us today, myself included, what are we going to do with the truth God has given us? It's a simple thought, my friends, but I hope you have a blessed day.